Good morning! Hi, I'm Axel, your testing companion. I'm here to monitor you through the testing course, so safety is ensured and that your testing experience is fully recorded to be examined in the future. Before we start, it's important that you understand that some tests may be very dangerous, and I can't interfere with your testing experience to prevent any injuries or possible fatality. Now that we've gotten the introduction out of the way, the testing will begin now. Tunnels can be pretty hard to latch onto, but you'll get the hang of it. Yes, welcome. Level zero. I can't help you solve any tests, but don't worry. Yay! I knew you would be able to- Great job on your first test. Before we continue on to the next one, I'm required to tell you that we provide quick rest areas for test subjects who may be overwhelmed from their testing experience. Feel free to take a nap or something. I won't watch. in the middle, you might be asking. It's the ecliptic tunneling device! It's required to continue on to the next tests. Most test subjects may fear the ecliptic tunneling device. However, it is completely safe. Unless you get shot. Watch out for that. Nobody has ever tested it, so I wouldn't try. So smart! Just be careful with it. Tunnels are really cool, but it's important that you understand the safety rules of the device. Rule 1. You cannot place tunnels on metallic surfaces. Metals tend to repel tunnel technology. Rule 2. Keep your finger off the trigger whenever you don't want to fire. In some cases, subjects expect the gun, which can be very dangerous if you're looking down into the chamber of the device. Rule 3. Do not straighten your arms. The device has a big kickback when you fire, so we don't want to break any bones. Or deal with the insurance. With two metals! Don't be intimidated by the size of the room. Your speed is retained through tunnels. For example, if your pencil happened to roll off your desk into a tunnel on the floor while the other one was on a ball, it would fly out of it. Objects you may be carrying with the device will also retain their speed. If you're scared of heights, try not to hit yourself on the head from flailing your arm. Brain dead subjects can't test. We've tried it before. Some of the test subjects were having difficulties with this chamber, so I was told to try to explain it as simply as possible. These very dangerous high-powered orange and blue things are actually star-crossed lovers. When you push the button, the orange thing will send a very dangerous fiery love letter, and your job is to try to get the love letter Am I making sense? Yeah, I make sense. Have fun. But be careful. Like I said, very dangerous.
spend a very long time in this room. Sometimes to the point of starvation. Let's avoid starving. See that gun in the middle? 100% of test subjects have said it's real. Not to mention, an ecliptic telling device inspector came by and rated an A. He did it! Some subjects may be alarmed and assume they're shooting fireballs, but no. Unfortunately. The device is now able to place orange portals as well, which can also be alarming, but you'll get used to it. Most test subjects forget the important safety tips, which have caused accidents and injuries, so let's go over them once again. Rule 1. You cannot place tunnels on metallic surfaces. Metals tend to repel tunnel technology. Rule 2. Keep your finger off the trigger whenever... Ugh. You know what? You remember that, don't you? You don't have to go through it again. All you need to know is to be careful. This, uh, next one is very dangerous. I can't tell you how dangerous, but just watch out for gunfire. I can't come along with you into the chamber to help you out, so you'll be on your own. I'm really hoping to see you after the test. Good luck. <laughs>
you're okay! I was worried. 76% of test subjects have been unable to pass through that one. Uh, anyway, if you're hurt, medical equipment is here for you. Band-aids and stuff. Just walk through the door when you're ready. When testing is over, you'll be given a test companion survey. I, uh, really- ah! What? This is part of the test? Grab onto something! What do I do? What do I do? What do I do?